Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to continue our coverage of the Unitrends uh, backup uh, appliance. Uh, the, our model is the uh, Recovery 813 that we're testing. Uh, we've in our last video that you see here, we showed you uh, all the various scheduling options uh, that you have available to you. Uh, in the test before that, we showed uh, installing both Mac Windows Server agents. And so in this one, we're going to install uh, a Linux agent and let you see how that works. To get that going, the first thing we need to do is pull up our terminal. You can see I'm logged into an Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu server here. And the first thing we need to do is download the software. And we're just going to use wget to get that. So now the client is downloaded. And the next thing we need to do is uh, set the executable bit on the file. So that's done. And then finally, we just need to um, launch the binary. And this is a uh, common error that will come up. Uh, you need to get uh, this package uh, installed first. So I left that in there on purpose uh, because, like I said, this error does come up. And uh, it's that the agent requires certain 32-bit shared libraries to complete and execute. Uh, a lot of the 64 implementations don't, uh, by default, have those. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put those in. Okay, and there's the first one and the second one. Okay, and with all our various uh, dependency packages installed, now we can go ahead and install the agent. And at that point, we will... Uh, give it the host name of the server. We'll bring our console into place here and you can see that there it is. So pop over here. Okay, so we're all set up, and as you can see, this uh, kernel supports inc incremental forever. So now we're going to add the client and uh, get everything going. So first thing I need to do, do though real quick is get the IP address. We go to clients, settings, clients, and then add a new client. So now we have all our details entered in, and so we can just hit setup. And there you can see the Ubuntu uh, client added to the system. So now we'll go ahead and schedule our backup. And you can see as usual it creates an automatic backup right there uh, but instead we'll do an incremental forever backup. So we'll have the first full back off kick off immediately and then we'll have the daily 
every 30 minutes. So there's our backup setup, and then we'll also go ahead and enable some retention settings. So there you can see everything is set up, and we'll go ahead and hit save. And you can see that the request succeeded. So that's, uh, that's how easy it is to set up uh, a Linux server. You can see we also have a Debian server going here along with our Macs and Windows servers. So we've got uh, an increasing growing number of platforms. Um, this uh, Ubuntu server was a fresh install, so the initial backup should be pretty straightforward. Um, and you can see there that the uh, backup has started and the client has responded and it's receiving files. Uh, one of the things that I'll tell you is that the incremental, as you would imagine, the incremental forever backups go very, very quickly. Uh, the, the Debian uh, box that we've done in the past uh, has, uh, you can see, has a lot of successes, and most of the time it's because it's just an in incremental all the time. And, and those, uh, you can see the elapsed times on some of these incrementals, uh, nine seconds. We created some data here, 27 minutes, uh, but very, very fast backups. Uh, and so... Uh, we've had some very, very good success uh, with with that product. So uh, that kind of covers Linux backup for you. We'll uh, go ahead and come back to this client occasionally. Uh, we're going to mount it as an NFS mount point and get some data going to it and use it as an NFS server. So we'll, you'll see that uh, in a future update. In, for now, though, I am George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and please stay tuned for additional test drives on the Unitrends backup and recovery appliances.